Today, we are going to find the name of the ionic compound SROH2. Now, here's a little trick. If you say three or more different elements in your ionic compound, you know that you have at least one polyatomic. So it's easiest to find the polyatomic and then try to go from there with the naming. In this case, we have strontium, which is SR, O for oxygen, and H for hydrogen. So I know that I have at least one polyatomic. And remember guys, polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. They're always going to be memorized. So I just wrote out the one that we're going to be seeing here. OH, which is always a minus one charge. You guys should always memorize the charge as well. Anytime you see an OH, it's a hydroxide, right? When we're dealing with naming. So I have the OH right here. That's a polyatomic. And since strontium is over here on the periodic table, it's in metal territory. I know that strontium is the metal. Now all we have to do is just name the compound. The metal name goes first, and that always stays the same. So SR, strontium, I'm just going to put strontium. Strontium. Next comes my polyatomic, and that name always stays the same. So since it was a hydroxide ion, I know that this is just going to be hydroxide. Now we just have to do a little test, right? But strontium, which is over here, is not in transition metal territory. It's not a transition metal. So I do not need a Roman numeral. So I'm done. The answer is just strontium hydroxide. So SROH2, its name is strontium hydroxide. Hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I really hope that it does help. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.